The FHFA, the Federal Housing Finance Agency, just raised the 2024 conforming loan limit to $766,550, a 5.56% increase from the last year's conforming loan limit. And this is big news. And before I break down what it means for sellers and what it means for buyers, if you get some value out of this video, you like what you hear, or you got a question, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications, and drop any questions you got in the comments. Or if you wanna set up a time or we can explain how this affects you and your real estate plans, click on the link in the comments to schedule a call with our team. So this is big news. It's a 5.56% bump on conforming loan limits, which unlocks a lot of things for sellers and for buyers. Here's what this means in terms of affordability. And, and if you don't know what a conforming loan limit is, that's where the lending qualifications change from very clear federal guidelines to jumbo loan territory, where there's a lot more judgment involved. So jumbo loans tend to have a little bit of a different qualification process where there might be higher fees, they require higher down payments, they have a different outlook on ratios and numbers in terms of debt to income ratio and, and a number of other factors that are involved. When you're with an FHFA conforming loan limit, these are all set by the federal government. So the FHFA, the Federal Housing Finance Agency, they came out with this news just last week. And what this does, it allows for a 5% down payment on a home price up to $806,894. It allows for a 3% down payment on a loan for a sale price of $790,257,000. This is incredible because you can get into a home that's priced a little over $800,000 for 5% down. You can get into a home priced just over $790,000 for 3% down. So for today's home buyers, this is a big win because now if you're maybe a little cash poor, and you have a great income, you're building your career, you've got some high capital expenditures, you have the ability to get in with a lot less cash to close than you did even just a year ago. Because with jumbo loans, you're typically looking at a 10 or 20% down payment. So at the 806,894 sale price where you get in at 5% down, that number for down money more than doubles depending on the bank that you're working with because the banks make up the qualifications, not the FHFA when you get into jumbo loan territory. So you could be looking at a double or a 4X down payment at an above $806,000 if you're going into jumbo loan territory. That's a big difference in terms of cash to close. So for home sellers, the exciting part here is if you're looking to maybe move up, all of a sudden, your home's more affordable now if you're below that $800,000 price point because now buyers are able to get in with less cash to close. And that might open up more competition for you, more options, and it's gonna make more buyers be able to qualify for your property and more buyers always get you a better result. For home buyers, I'd be looking at my budget and seeing, well, maybe now I can bump up my price point a little bit. Maybe I can stretch a little bit with these new conforming loan limits. Again, they're 5.56% higher than they were last year. So this is major, major news. This is the highest these conforming loan limits have ever been. And obviously for the folks in the greater Philadelphia area, these numbers are gonna be pretty sticky. If you're outside the market and you're watching this video, you need to talk with a local agent because there are some places like California and New York and along the West Coast where you can go even higher than that based on the average sale price in your market. The greater Philadelphia area is not one of them. So knowing your options right now is really, really critical. Three and 5% down up to 800,000 is pretty exciting. In addition, what you avoid with this are higher lending costs because you had to go jumbo. Higher cash reserves when you're qualifying, yet have more money in the bank. Lower debt to income ratio qualifications. So it's easier to qualify for an FHFA conforming loan or just a conforming loan is what they usually call it in the industry than it is for a jumbo loan. So if you don't know these products, now you do. This is going to increase affordability. It gives you more options as a home buyer and a home seller, even if you're moving up, right? Let's think about the person that has a home to sell and they wanna move up and their move up numbers in the seven or $800,000 range. Well, here's the good news. You might be able to remove a home sale contingency from that offer that you're trying to make because you have the cash in the bank to get in with 3% down, 5% down. 
instead of having to come up with 10 or 20% down. So there's a lot of options here. It's all the more reason to talk to someone who knows what the options are for you as a home buyer and as a home seller. This is massive, massive news. And if people aren't telling you about it, it might be time for you to find someone who knows all the ins and outs of the products available.